family, y'all have somebody who is desperately trying to get back with you. Heavy on the X vibes, blowing up the phone, trying to pop up where you're popping up, fake profiles, reaching out over the internet, watching all your stories. It's giving all of that, family. Happy Friday and welcome and welcome back to my channel. This is Down to Earth Tarot. Please hit the like button, subscribe, join the family, and let me know where you're watching from. Drop your sun, moon, and rising down below. Family, especially those of you dealing with a fire sign X, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Leo vibes. I'm going to need y'all to tap on in. This is somebody coming back, boldly coming back. The star, Aquarius, Pisces, which we've seen heavily in the last few readings. Wanting to get back into alignment with you. Having a massive change in perspective. Gaining some clarity. For some of you, it may even be boredom, but we'll get back to that. But this is somebody desperate to get your attention. Heavy on the coming back. This is not a new person. It is, again, somebody that you have history with with the Six of Cups. Nostalgia, looking back. Even here with this three, again, this is a reconciliation, a reunion. Somebody looking to have dinner and catch up. Can't we be friends? Aren't we supposed to still be friends? Especially for those of you in which somebody is just expecting you to still be alone, be single. And it gives the vibes of somebody that you haven't heard from in a long time here with this hermit. Virgo, Leo energy with this strength. Like, mm. Is it strength or audacity that's bringing this person back? I also think when I think of the strength card, somebody that is very physically attractive. Um, but I also think of somebody who's taking a lot of action to get a hold of somebody, to do something, to get in front of somebody when I think of this Knight of Wands and all of this energy of wanting to reach out. The fact that somebody is obsessed now that somebody has walked away. And really the fact that somebody is not speaking to someone because this energy could be vice versa. Is what really has somebody desperate to reach out, desperate to know what's going on. That's really given this person, again, back to that change in perspective and clarity. Because when I think of this star, which is air energy, Aquarius, there can be any of the air signs, right? We notice our girl here with one toe in this water and one foot on land. So who was this person family, if it wasn't yourself, that was half in, half out on a situation? And now they're talking about being all in here. All in. Wanting all of your attention. You wanting all of their attention now with the judgment. Lots of, we've seen a lot of water. Pisces, Scorpio with that judgment. It could even be a little Taurus action. But again, desperate to come and talk to somebody. The tens. Three tens. This is somebody wanting to start over. It's also giving the vibes of mm, somebody wasn't understanding what it is that they had until it was gone. Not another one of those. I'm going to repeat. They did not understand what it is they had until it was gone here. It's also this energy with this Ten of Cups that from watching someone from a distance, they're seeing somebody, <clears throat> excuse me, they're seeing somebody very happy moving on, not thinking about them. Mm, mm, mm. They're sad boots. 
crying, trying to figure out where the hell it went wrong. I'm right. A mess. Playing all that sad Mariah Carey. Mm-mm. Yikes. So what's your history with this person? Let's get into the Six of Cups. And notice the repeating sixes. Drop those repeating numbers you've been seeing, family, down below in the chat in the comment section. So what is this on again, off again when I'm looking at this Three of Wands? And for some of you, distance plays a role in the situation between you and this person. So living at a distance, and distance is, is not across town unless you live like in Houston. Come on now, 15 minutes away. Mm -mm. 30 minutes, not long distance, family. Come on, be for real. But this on again, off again thing, some of you at being distance, more of the fire vibes here with that <laughs> three of wands, but this temperance again, shout out to the Sagittarius cross watchers and those of you with heavy Sag in your chart. Cuspers tap in the December babies. On again, off again, a lot of waiting. And we see again, just like our girl Blanche, one foot in, one foot out. Who is this per Again, in and out, flighty, inconsistent. And that is the history, wanting to spin the block. But that, that has been the history, on again, off again. Sometimes you're together, sometimes you're alone, but it's kind of this vibe of always watching each other. And for some of you, mm, tisk tisk. for some of you, it is, has been a long-term friends with benefits situation here. Mm. And then there, again, Scorpio Aries, water and fire. What's changed somebody's perspective or given somebody this clarity that has somebody coming back is the idea that somebody is happy without them, is able to move on without them. Has, for some of you, has moved on without them. It, it definitely gives the vibes of somebody feeling like they always had, which you can't see now, um, one foot in the door. Mm, mm, mm. But you don't have to tell me that somebody was breadcrumbing. And absolutely, they always had one foot in the door. Maybe they really liked you or you really liked them. Maybe a little more than, you know, they did. That's that energy here. That they would always be able to kind of come back. That the door would always be open. Mm, mm, mm. This person that thought that they could play with you. For some of you, when I think of this world, this person that also left you on red, could even be some of y'all got ghosted, is wanting to come, again, is watching and wanting to come back. Clearly wanting to, you know, reconcile, reunite. So let's get into this situation where some of you were ghosted by this person. And notice the seven showing up. That seven of swords, now the chariot. Some of you dealing with a cancer person. All of the water now. But this person that ghosted in particular, especially if you were the one that ghosted family, it's got this person obsessed stressed out the fact that they haven't heard from you because see some of y'all allowed this person to ghost you and they and they haven't heard from you 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 didn't chase them like you were supposed to oops that's not how that was supposed to go this person that is playing immature games somebody walked away without saying a word without asking for an explanation without even addressing what, 
whatever boundary and or trust issue was crossed here and the fact that they haven't heard from this person or the fact that they only have access to them over the internet, social media, again, has somebody obsessed, wanting to reach out, wanting to know what's going on, where it is that they stand with you, again, because now that somebody is standing on their own two feet, stable, independent. And it could even be the fact when I'm looking at her in this nine of pentacles, it could even be the fact that somebody is stable right now. Oh, they got their own place, a new place. The fact that somebody is looking good. It looks like they're having a good time, happy. May be just enough for somebody to want to come in and talk about how they want to work it out, how they still have these deep feelings, how they, you know, didn't know why things ended the way that they did. And more of that water, Pisces, Cancer vibes with the moon. And shout out to the people that live in the 818, wherever that is, as I'm looking at this um, 8 and 18 here. But this is somebody wanting to work things out. Also playing on the history, the time that you guys spent together and these deep feelings that you have. Mm -mm -mm. But those of you that someone just disappeared, the fact that somebody moved on, didn't attempt to communicate with somebody, worked a situation out and very quickly Has somebody wanting to communicate. And I wouldn't be surprised if somebody isn't blowing up your phone with the text messages from their number, from fake numbers, DMing you like crazy, asking for forgiveness or talking about this relationship, a commitment that y'all have. Mm, mm, mm. Libra Taurus with that hair up. Who is this person that ghosted you because they're on a spiritual journey with that hair fine? Let's triple down on the fact that somebody moved on, walked away, and did not look back has not reached out, has not communicated. Has somebody ups, highly upset? Highly upset here. And what's this energy with this five of wands of having people pick sides? There being a lot of conflict. It, it almost gives the vibes of if somebody can't, you know, pull at your heartstrings. Um, um, manipulate you emotionally and that way they may even try to start a fight to get you to respond to them like anything is better than nothing right now and with that 55 energy and we saw that hair font as well fives are a number of change but it also gives like the chaotic vibes that somebody is somebody is very uncomfortable with the fact that they they do not have control over you or they do not, they no longer have control over this person and or this situation the way that they thought that they did. Somebody overplayed their hand, family. And notice these fours lining up here. Shout out to the Capricorns that are 44 that are watching. That's really what it is. This new discovery that they didn't have control, mental or emotional control over somebody the way that they did. And the fact that somebody quickly moved on, got control of their situation. Didn't let him break their stride. But for some of you, somebody's watching somebody move on. Back to this Ten of Cups. Some of you have somebody blowing up your phone because they see that you're in a new relationship. That you have something going on. Oof. It also gives the vibes of your light attracting people back. 
that you haven't heard from in a long time. Some of you are going through um, a nice little bright patch, having some abundance right now, new opportunities, as we've been seeing in the readings lately. And now we've seen everything, the world, the sun, the moon, the star, everything kind of coming into alignment for you. And that's also, bring, like I said, bringing people back that you haven't heard from in a long time. All these people up out of the woodwork. There's also this energy of one person in particular that you have not seen or heard from in a very long time that there may still be feelings there. Of you or them reaching out, wanting to speak. And this person, very physically attractive, could be a fire sign, but heavy on the reaching out over the internet. Reaching out over the internet, wanting to catch up. Wanting to catch up, chop it up, and again, this King of Wands. It almost gives the one that got away vibes, Capricorn. Someone reaching out, and all that shuffling just to, again, Reaching out, long time no see, no hear from, wanting to catch up, wanting, wanting, I almost get the vibes of wanting to see what happened. And something about this white dress. Mm. I almost feel like somebody going through a breakup. Somebody that you're in a serious commitment with that you haven't heard from in a long time, reaching out. Reaching out and giving the shoot their shot vibes. Talking about your history. And it does give going through a breakup, a divorce, needing a place to live. But somebody that you have this history with coming, trying to make an attempt to come back in and definitely out of the blue. Again, somebody that you haven't heard from in a long time when I'm thinking the hermit in the moon. Long time, very handsome, very beautiful. That there, there was a falling out. There was a falling out and now somebody's wanting to talk. Could even be wanting to come in and give closure, ask for closure here. What was this falling out about? Now I'm curious. Whose feelings got hurt? Whose feelings got hurt? And they not, haven't heard from that person ever since, up until this moment. And these threes. Now somebody, and, and it does give the closure vibes, the rain, the tower moment, seeing somebody happy and moved on. This energy of, you know, somebody kind of being obsessed when they haven't heard from somebody. Mm, mm, mm. Is it, is it an apology? No, I'm all in. Somebody is going to come in trying to offer some type of clarification and or closure. Talking about, you know, how embarrassed they are that they left a situation in the way that they did. They have a lot of regrets. A lot of remorse. They wish they handled the situation differently. And again, the fives. Um, but at this high priestess, 
more of the Pisces vibes again. It just gives the vibes that there's there's something else going on here. It's more than just the looking for the closure. It's more than just wanting to give it or have this conversation. Somebody's still interested, but it also gives this vibe family. Didn't I say that white dress? It also gives the vibes of somebody, you know, be careful that somebody's not looking for something on the side. That while they're, you know, coming in looking for closure, explaining how a situation went the way that it went, that they're not trying to, you know, start something that is inappropriate. Because we see this energy of somebody being very attractive and it being very tempting for someone. When really a door may need to just be permanently closed. We see Capricorn, we see Scorpio. And note all this energy of needing to keep this particular energy, block this off. Keep it at a distance. Keep it only on the internet for some of you. But for some of you, it's this heavy energy. Excuse me, Henny. Maybe, maybe that's exactly what I need to say. Maybe it is somebody drunk dialing here all in their feelings. But it's this energy of needing to be very blocked off, closed off to this, this past person coming in with a lot of feelings. Wanting to bring closure, asking for closure. It definitely gives the vibes of somebody buying time. Or somebody straddling the fence. Could possibly be talking about a separation or going through a divorce. Some of you dealing with a Libra here. But there's this energy of needing to be very careful about what offers you're accepting. And what things you need to turn down. And a need to trust your gut. You know, about this person coming in with this apology and wanting this fresh start. That it could be somebody wanting to play on somebody being naive here with the fool. Mm, mm, mm. And on to this, excuse my alarm, this strength card here. Family, now some of you have this person coming in. And I spoke about this in a previous reading. Again, subscribe, join the family, check the playlist. Some of you have somebody coming in humbly, bold but humble, apologizing, looking for forgiveness, and wanting to work a situation out. Really wanting to cooperate, really wanting to put in the effort and working a situation out. And wanting to make it work. And heavy on the wanting to make it work and starting over. As well as um, it would be heavy on somebody needing to take a major leap of faith. We have Gemini, Taurus, Leo here. It would be a major leap of faith. We see that strength card in the hair font. Major forgiveness, the ability to move on. But I also get it's taken a lot of strength for somebody to forgive and still walk away and not say anything to this person and leaving this relationship where it is. But let's be very clear. Somebody's wanting their person back, their friend back, their man, their woman back here. Somebody, somebody that seemingly has run out of time was not was not ready to go, was not ready to go, especially somebody that was feeling like they had a lot of options. As well as for some of you Capricorns, it may be a few people that you're dealing with, multiple people wanting to come back and see what's going on with you. Again, it's this light here. The fact that some of you are doing very well, it's a different energy that you're walking around with. Some of them, again, seeing a lot of things that you're doing on the internet. You have a lot of people getting ready to be blowing up your phone. So family, 
hit the like button. Let me know it resonated for you. That is all I have for you this morning. Um, and I will be tapping in with you very soon. Keep it real, family.